The La Brea Tar Pits in Los Angeles, California, now stand as a monument to species once lost to a different era, the Pleistocene. Before it became the famous tourist destination it's now known as, the tar pits were the discovery point for many ancient animals that have been extinct for thousands of years. Included in those discoveries are some of the most recognizable extinct species ever, such as the woolly mammoth and the saber-toothed tiger. Thanks to the HBO fantasy series Game of Thrones, one such species has entered back into the public awareness, the dire wolf. And of course, when speaking of ancient animals, one of our favorite things to do is to compare and contrast the attributes of these animals to those that exist today. During this process, one of the most important topics is who would win in a fight? Today, we'll be pitting the dire wolf up against one of the most fierce hunters in the animal kingdom, the modern-day cougar. The dire wolf was a savage predator, which existed during the changeover from the Pleistocene to the early Holocene epochs, which we now know as the Late Ice Age. The name dire wolf comes from the binomial name Anosion dirus, which roughly translates to terrible wolf. These terrible wolves belong firmly in the family of canines as predecessors to animals such as the gray, Yukon, and northwestern wolves. The lineage can pretty much be directly traced, so if you've seen any of these other species of wolves in the wild, then you already have a good idea of how their ancestors looked. Even though some fossilized remains have been found in South American savannas and the steppes of Eastern Asia, the dire wolf is believed to have mainly existed in North America spreading its habitats across several different types of terrains, including grasslands, plains, and forested mountains. Known as a hypercarnivore and pack hunter, these wolves made relatively large, slower-moving herbivores and omnivores their main prey. Some of these victims included mastodons, dwarf pronghorn, and ancient bison. Given the relative size of their prey, estimated to be around 10 times bulkier than the wolves, you can imagine why pack hunting would be a necessity. While the fictional depictions on Game of Thrones represent the size of the dire wolf as comparable to that of a small horse, something our subjects would have hunted, the real-life dire wolves were somewhat smaller. With that being said, at an estimated average weight ranging from 68 to 110 kilograms, they're still considered to have been the largest and bulkiest canines to have ever existed. Their bulky size could be a disadvantage at times since it would tend to make them move slower. The skull length could reach up to 310 millimeters with a jaw that evolved to increase the force and destruction of its bite. In fact, it's been calculated that the bite force of the dire wolf is 129 times more powerful than its modern kin. Because of this, the temporalis muscle on the dire was way larger than you would typically find on any other wolf. As their competition slowly started to die out around 12,000 years ago, the wolves' teeth adapted to become stronger, making it easier to tear the flesh of even larger prey than they were used to. On top of this, the sizable length and curvature of the dire wolf's front canine teeth made it much easier to hold on to whatever target it chose to take a bite of. Since 1988, the American Aldison Breeders Association has been attempting to combine different dog breeds together. The goal is to breed the closest thing they can to an ancient dire wolf. Maybe one day we'll have the opportunity to see these animals as they once were. Let's move on to the competition. The modern large cat, Puma concolor, also known as the cougar. The second largest cat in the Americas and the fourth largest worldwide, the cougar makes its home in a range of places from the Canadian Yukon down to the Andes Mountains in South America. Being that this big cat is as ubiquitous as it is in the Western Hemisphere, there have been many names applied to it. You've most likely heard the names Puma, Mountain Lion, Panther, Painter, and Catamount all used at different times. These are all cougars. Puma concolor is a solitary hunter and what's known as an ambush predator. This means that its primary form of hunting was similar to guerrilla tactics in warfare, trapping and killing prey using stealth and strategy. Add to that the fact that cougars are nocturnal, territorial, and prefer to live in areas that are both dense and rocky, and they can be extremely dangerous. Don't get too hung up on them being ambush predators, though. They can sprint when required. 
This becomes an extremely useful skill if their target gets away or they find themselves to be the target. The preferred diet of cougars can range a little bit. Their main prey are animals known as ungulates, which are a class of mammal that are characterized by being hooved. Of this class of animal, they have a particular taste for deer, elk, and moose. Aside from this, they've also been known to hunt rodents and insects when needed. While all of this sounds like the makings of an apex predator, the cougar has not been given that classification. This is because it will yield food from a kill to other animals such as grizzly bears, alligators, and gray wolves. As far as their size is concerned, since cougars are part of the family of felidae, which also includes tigers and leopards, they tend to be slender and agile, with an on-record average weight for males being 68 kilograms at the heaviest. There have been claims of cougars being found weighing upwards of 105 to 125 kilograms, but none of this has been substantiated. The only other big cats that are on average larger than cougars are lions, tigers, and jaguars. Cougars do their hunting and killing with retractable claws found on both their front and back paws. Don't discount their powerful jaws, though, as they've been known to be able to break the neck of a human with their mouth. Now we get to the fun part. Who would be the victor if a dire wolf and a cougar were to face off? With these two animals, the hunting styles are completely opposite. The dire wolf was a pack hunter, focusing mainly on larger prey to benefit the group. Cougars hunted alone for food that was meant mainly for itself and its young. And of course, let us not forget that cougars did most of, if not all of their hunting at night via ambush tactics. Information is unclear as to whether dire wolves hunted during the day or night, but based on how they hunted and their diet, it's probably a safe guess they were daytime scavengers. If we were to stop here, it'd be clear that cougars have the advantage when you include their speed and agility due to their smaller size. Where dire wolves would have the definite advantage is in the numbers game. They didn't just hunt together, they cohabitated. The pack was always together. Since cougars attack alone, even with the element of surprise, they'd be lucky to take down one or two of the dire wolves before being overwhelmed by the rest of the pack. At this point, things could swing either way, as both species seem to have more or less equal advantages and disadvantages. There is an X-factor to consider when comparing and contrasting. This would be the fact that cougars are known to submit to larger or more powerful predators if that larger predator decides that they want the cougar's food for themselves. One such predator that cougars yield to is the gray wolf, which is mentioned before, descended from the dire wolf. Based off this additional information, you could easily draw the conclusion that if presented with a similar situation with a pack of dire wolves, a cougar will easily back down. We think that at this point, the fight is easy to call. The winner, the dire wolf.